Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a, a day of uh, release for Windows 11. The uh, new experiences that were announced that were to be officially uh, rolling out in February are starting to roll out today. Uh, today is February the 15th, 2022. So it's not available for everyone yet. Here I don't have those updates. I did see updates through the store, for example, but I still don't have all the information or all the updates showing anything new. So I'll use the Insider Preview to show you what it's all about. So throughout the day today or within the next few days, Microsoft says it could take several days for some of you to see it. Things are going to roll out to your Windows 11 machine. First of all, the long-awaited Android App Store for the Amazon App Store. It's U.S. only, so it's very important. If you're not in the U.S., you won't have it. But once it's rolling out, you will see that you'll have the Amazon App Store showing up, and that's going to install on your machine. So U.S. only for now. Outside the U.S., we don't have that, as it is an experience for the United States only right now. So you'll have games, apps, and stuff like that that come from the Amazon App Store with the Windows subsystem for Android. Uh, new flyout for the window for the volume uh, and and different other uh, options. So for example, the volume here you see a flyout if you um, have the possibility to dim the screen. For example, also is going to be a flyout like that in the middle of the screen rather than. Uh, what we had before and more of these experiences are going to come to actually the uh, the um, the, the taskbar and the different uh, options of the taskbar as time goes by if uh, you hover over some of the apps not all the apps but some of the apps that are actually compatible with that uh, you will have a option to um, display a share, um, you'll be able to kind of share to uh, an extended display or share to another, um, you know, app or information. So the, basically what this is going to do is um, the share control um, will allow you to more easily share content from um, that window with others. So for example, if you want to share from one app to another app and so on. Uh, and that is going to roll out also. There's going to be the weather on the taskbar. On the bottom left, if you start seeing the weather in Windows 11, that means you have now the new experience. And that comes from the fact that it is the uh, widgets that are also there. So weather is going to be available, as you see here on the bottom left, into your taskbar at this uh, time. Um, <clears throat> clock and date will appear on secondary displays, which wasn't the case before. So... If you want to have the clock and the date, now it's going to show up if you have a second display uh, in there. Redesigned apps, you'll have the brand new media player. So it doesn't take out the Windows media player. It's still there. So if you're using the Windows media player, you still can use the old app, which is called Windows media player. But the new app called Simply Media Player is now available and will be showing up on your computer also. So this is the new redesigned app if you want. And um, it is slight, you know, not that much of a difference, but it is slightly different. And uh, so you can use all of that uh, and import, of course, all of the music. So things should show up. You can try it out. And if you don't like it, you know what? You can, of course, go back and use the old Windows Media Player. The uh, other one, and by the way, the new me Media Player replaces Groove. What they're trying to do with the new Media Player app is to just remove Groove app, um, as Groove Music is going to go away um, most for most people. And finally, there's a Notepad also that is uh, a new redesigned app with uh, dark mode and uh, rounded edges and the menus at the top are slightly different as you see with those uh, you know windows 11 style flyout windows um, uh, and menus so uh, these are the stuff that's rolling out 
that's pretty much all of it. So um, if you're expecting a really major redesign, it's not there yet. That's going to be the big update this fall. How does this come to your computer? Most of it will come through the Microsoft Store. So if you want to see if you have it, you can go to the Microsoft Store. In the Microsoft Store, what you could do then is go into the library on the bottom left. And here you can click Get Updates and see what are the updates that are available for your computer. And if you see updates show up, one of them is the Windows Experience Pack that's going to download. Uh, you should have a few things that are going to download and install, including you'll see the media player, you'll see the notepad. Uh, that's all coming from the store. Some of the features are also um, within Windows, just not turned on yet. So be patient. If you don't see any of that, you will have them in the next few days. But today is the official date where it's starting to get released to regular Windows 11 users. This is not Windows Insider. This is for Windows 11 standard users. We'll see this appear. Unsupported hardware. Little detail to know here. Unsupported hardware, from what I understand, cannot run the Amazon App Store. But that's up to you guys to tell me. If you are unsupported, you start getting these new features, let me know what you have. Let me know what works and doesn't work. Uh, but I've been told that the Amazon App Store with Android apps would not run on unsupported hardware. So these are the little things that's going to happen probably through time. Some of the new features might not be available to unsupported computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.